Yes, some researchers did decide to encode DNA onto a cassette, and that can be used to store information, potentially a single cassette storing every song known to mankind. Now, this is far from the first time that this has been done. The famous running horse was encoded into E. coli DNA eight years ago, and I'm very confused about that because I swear I learned about this in high school, which is my own Mandela effect. But DNA has four parts, A, T, C, and G. It can be read backwards and forwards and at any point in the sequence. Generally, our cells use just one strand as sense and reads it in triplicates, but there's no reason that you can't store an unfathomable amount of information in a very tiny space. I'm serious. If you took the entire genome of a human, you could store much more information than our cells are even capable of, but there are limitations. For all the technology where people are storing information in DNA, even though they're using four parts and potentially it can be read in multiple frames, it still is processed by a computer that runs on zero and one. Lots of people have tried to make ordinary computers and they are getting better, but they tend to have a whole lot of errors and those errors stack, which is also kind of true of animals. Something like a bacteria. It's very small and if it has an error, they can just reproduce 30 minutes later and that line is gone. Nobody cares. But if you have an organism like a human, instability in our DNA tends to cause a lot of issues like aging and cancer. Although there are animals that live for say 700 years or more like the Greenland shark and animals that just don't seem to age. Your probability of expiring does go up over time just by virtue of being around as you stack injuries. But DNA repair mechanisms can be quite efficient and that is what we really need to bring to ordinary computers. This is where AI can come into place because AI can potentially be self-correcting, but then we have the problem that we get to what Alan Turing, Stephen Hawking, and IJ Good were concerned about, which is a self-correcting AI would eventually surpass humanity and destroy us all. It does come full circle. As for printing DNA onto a cassette, yes, some researchers did that just for fun. There's no reason it really had to be a cassette other than to prove that they could do it. They put an image on the cassette, but you could potentially put any kind of information that you wanted. You could also take a person, take their own unique genetic code, and turn them into a cipher and a computer all in their own. I'm really not kidding when I say anything can be a computer, water can be a computer. But yes, there are DNA computers out there that rely solely on biological molecules. I tend to be more in favor of things like tiny disembodied brains as computers or fungi, but I do have a question. So if you can take a disembodied brain and turn it into a computational unit, could you potentially take a brain out of a living creature and then get it started up again, oxygenate it, and turn that into a computer? I don't really see any reason why that wouldn't be possible. It might be more efficient to use it while, you know, an animal is still alive, but now we're getting into nightmare science. I actually have been looking through the research database just to see if anyone ever does that, and some people have gotten fairly close using mice, but when it happens, I promise I will tell you about it. And as long as we're getting into weird science, somebody did put data into a salami, so I guess that happened. And yes, I am in fact old enough to have had cassettes when I was very, very young. I never had a Walkman, and DVDs were pretty much the thing by the time I can remember. I actually started buying DVDs again because I cannot trust streaming services to actually have the movies that I want or purchase. Yeah, if you could encode my favorite music onto a DNA cassette, I would probably purchase it. Incidentally, it is possible now. When the robots rebel, I will probably be the first person to tell you about it. Follow for more.